coffee time, coffee time. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Kate, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to take a little bit of a break from nursing and cleaning to bring you some of my favorites, which right now is all about coffee. Um, as a nurse, I live off coffee. It's a problem. So, I wanted to go over my favorite brand of coffee, which is Coffee Over Cardio. It was started as a small business by Abby Scott down in Texas, and she's absolutely wonderful. I love her coffee products, so I wanted to share my personal review I do have an affiliate link down below if you're interested to get 10% off. It gives me back just a little bit. However, I'm not being paid to do a review on them or anything. All of this is my honest thoughts about her products and why I choose Coffee Over Cardio over any other coffees. So first, let's talk about the bag design. I mean, just look at how cute these are. I think they're adorable. The morning, y'all, has all these little breakfast foods like French toast and pancakes and eggs. Flourish, which is an island breeze, has little palm trees, and man, I could just smell it outside of its packaging, and it's delicious. Messy bun, this one's a cinnamon one, so it's gonna have cinnamon rolls on it. Hashtag workflow is going to be a darker roast, and it has high caffeine, and it has some high heel shoes, so girls can go be awesome boss babes. <laughs> and then the last one that I have is Espresso Fit. This one is a medium roast and it's more like a cafe espresso bean. Now she has many other flavors in her shop as well. These are just the ones I have at the moment because I do not want them to um, expire or go bad because I like to keep them fresh. Another little thing that she also makes is these Smart Start creamers. So I'm a big creamer girl. I like just a little bit of coffee with my creamer is how I describe it. And these ones are powdered creamers and they're super sweet and I usually don't need to use that much of them but it just adds just a little bit more zest and pizzazz to my coffee drinks. So now I kind of want to tell you why I like these ones. Now, all of her coffees are zero calories, they're no fat, carb free, all that fun stuff that me as a bodybuilder, I really enjoy those. The macros are great and I can drink as many cups as I want. And that goes for the creamers too. The only thing with the creamers is you have uh, two grams of fat. That's it. And those two grams of fat come from MCT powder, which is the oil that you get from coconut oil. Just gives you a little bit more uh, mental clarity and awareness. And so I will sacrifice those two grams of fat. And usually I use only half a scoop, so I only have one gram. Now some of these do have some sweeteners in them. So that's gonna be things like the messy bun has the cinnamon bun flavor on it. Flourish is gonna have the island breeze. And then they also have a chocolate donut, which is called Saturdays which I've tried a sample of it and I really like it. Um, they have a new one right now, which I have yet to get my hands on because it sells out every single time. It's called Doctor's Orders and it's a vanilla hazelnut, which sounds amazing, amazing. However, I have been working as a nurse on the floor whenever she releases the new stuff. So I am just waiting for people to calm down a little bit so I can pick up some, which would be great because I really want it. The doctor's orders is also pretty cool because she um, dedicated it to her grandma who was a nurse and that just makes me feel like I would have a special connection with her there and I wanted to get the doctor's orders not only because it tastes good but because I want to support all of the nurses and then the cause of small business. Now if you're not a big flavor person there's a lot of unflavored ones as well. She just recently released this morning y'all which is going to be a non-flavored light roast which I like that because I can mix this with the creamers and get more of the creamer flavor than the coffee flavor. If I ever mess, mix up messy bun with one of my coffee creamers, then you get the mix of the flavors and it's not really like my favorite in the world, but whatever. Um, the espresso fit and the hashtag workflow also don't have any uh, sweeteners or flavoring to them. The bonjour, which is their darkest roast, it's a French roast. So now let's talk about the creamers. So I really got turned on to the Vanilla Caramel Creamer and they just came out with a new formula because the old one was so sweet. I would use maybe like a quarter of a scoop. And so I wasn't getting the full benefit of a full scoop of this. So she just came out with this new formula, which is half as sweet so I can use actually the entire scoop, get the full lasting benefit and do that. She also came out with this Snickerdoodle, which is kind of very cinnamony. And then this one is Dreamy Hot Fudge. So if you're a mocha person, this is definitely the way to go. If you like cinnamon, 
this plus messy bun, you're pretty set. And then um, the vanilla caramel just makes everything like a vanilla caramel latte and it's just, oh, I love it so much. Now I drink my coffee iced, so I really like to do the vanilla one on it. I don't know why, but it makes a difference whenever I do the ice with the snickerdoodle. It just doesn't taste the same and I don't get, I don't feel the same effect. I don't know why, I'm, I'm not quite sure. But um, I did notice a big difference when I started using these creamers compared to like anything else because I am not a morning person in any way, shape, or form. So these morning and day shifts that I've been doing, I've been so tired on. So I will take a um, cup with one of these to work and then I'll bring one of these and mix it in with the coffee at work. And I feel pretty good throughout the whole day. Like I feel a lot more alert. I am picking up different things. I don't feel as tired, which is always like the whole point of coffee is not to feel tired, but just something about the smart starts make me feel more alive, I guess. I'm not just kind of like zombieing through my day. Um, I'll, I'll hit a point where I'm like, okay, I need another cup and then I'll have another cup. Um, I usually drink about two to three cups of coffee a day. And so that's why I have so many different coffees. Now, the other thing I like about the Coffee Over Cardio brand is that they are keto friendly, gluten free, vegan, all of the above. So all of my friends who have all these specific special diets or anything, they can all enjoy this as well. And I really like to be able to tell my friends, hey, I know you have like, like you're vegetarian or you can't have gluten or anything. You can't have anything with uh, like milk products. I have something that you might want to try. I know it's a little bit expensive, but in the long run, you'll really enjoy it. And so far, all the friends I've tried it really like it. Um, one of my favorite things to do is kind of mix and match things. So I'll do things like messy bun plus workflow. So I get caffeine and flavor. I'm a happy camper. Um, so I'll do one scoop of each into my K-cup and then stick it into my Keurig. Another fun thing that they that, uh, they do on their website is um, a lot of different outfits or shirts. Now I've gotten two workout tanks from them. One of them says resting gym face and the other one says uh, puppies, wine, and coffee. I don't know if it's that order, but it was completely perfect and accurate to my life because if you've met my three babies who are all at my feet right now, you know that my dogs are my life, coffee's how I start my day, wine's usually how I end it. So it's kind of a nice roundabout of, hey, here's my entire life. <laughs> and they're very self-conscious positive. They, on Instagram, between Abby and Coffee Over Cardio, it's always embodied, it's always embracing the beauty inside women, no matter your size. They have this one thing you can purchase, it's called Espresso Fit, so you get coffee plus you get workouts. On Wednesdays, they post a workout Wednesday on their Instagram story, and they're just always being super positive about healthy women and being a boss babe is what they call us, and just promoting promoting and empowering women to be the best selves they can be. And that's why I really like this company. Um, the only negatives that I have sometimes is the espresso fit for me it tastes a little bit burnt almost, but that could be just because I don't drink a lot of espresso. That could be how the bean actually tastes and I just am a little bit ignorant to the flavoring of it. I don't know, so I, I mix the um, espresso fit a lot with messy bun or flourish. Now I'm really sad because flourish is leaving because uh, where they get their beans sourced from is closing down. So that one's gonna be gone pretty quick, but there is a lot of other different flavors. As I said, you have the Saturdays, the Messy Bun, Doctor's Orders. Um, I am so excited because Pumpkin Spice is coming in September and, and, um, and I'm a basic white girl. If that's like, no surprise, I still have pumpkin coffee from last year. So I'm really excited for that one to get here and just to add it on to my little curate. So it is actually time for me to have a cup of coffee. So I'm gonna show you how I make my coffee. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go edit this video and get this posted up for you. Yeah, let's go make some coffee.
right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you've ever tried coffee over cardio, please leave it in the comments down below. Tell me your favorite flavor and that's gonna be the next one I try. Also, be sure to check out my Instagram at lyricalfitchick for some more cleaning, lifestyle, nursing, fitness, fun stuff. And then also check out the link in my comments in the description below so you can get your own little batch of coffee over cardio for 10% off and help support me as well in my little small business. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye!